The Toronto Real Estate Board has now given its members access to AuthentiSign. When you log on to TREB, you'll see the link over on the right-hand side called Instanet AuthentiSign. It's right above Web Forms and Realtor Tools. Clicking this link will redirect you to the member dashboard for Transaction Desk. And to start adding signatures to your offer, you want to click the AuthentiSign uh, button with the pen icon over on the left-hand side. When you click Start Signing, the first thing you'll be asked to do is give your uh, document a signing name. I like to use the address and a little description of what the property is of what the document will be. Uh, make sure underneath go to new signing is checked off. Okay then we're going to click save and a new window will pop up. Okay so first it will ask us the participant order. We have sign in line and simul sign. We always want to choose the second one so that everyone gets a copy of the offer at the same time. Step two, we have the participants. To add a new participant, simply click add. And there's a lot of boxes here to fill out, but all that's required is the name and email address. Okay, check off save to contacts. So that way this person will be in your address book if we need to do another uh, document. When you're ready, click Add. Okay, so I have John who will be our buyer for today. If you'd like to add yourself for your own signatures, you can do that simply here by clicking the Add Yourself button. I'm going to add the agent who I already have programmed into this account. So I'm going to click add from contacts. And there she is, her name is Lisa Simpson. Click add and we're ready to go. Step three is adding the documents. I'm using an offer that I have already have typed and it's on my computer so I'm just going to click upload a file. Okay, I'm going to grab the offer and the confirmation of cooperation. Okay, and it looks like the confirmation of cooperation was put first, the offer was second. If you'd like to change this order, simply click the arrows underneath. When you're ready with, when you're satisfied with that order, let's click on step four and start designing the offer. Okay, so here we will see all the documents together. Of course, you can review them at any time. Let's scroll back up to the top and you'll see in the top right hand corner is a drop down menu with the signers. So you'll see both names that we picked, John Smith who is the buyer in this transaction and Lisa Simpson who is the buyer's agent. Underneath the signers names you'll see the drag and drop button. When you open that up you'll see uh, some signatures, sign here in red and then again you'll see sign in green. The greens are optional, reds are mandatory. So whether it's with the uh, signatures or initials today, I'm going to be using both red ones to show that they're mand mandatory spaces. So let's scroll down to the first spot that I need John to initial, right here, initials of buyers. So let's make sure that John is selected. Click on initial here and drag it to where I need him to put his initials. Okay, that's one spot. There's another spot. Okay. And you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. I just want to keep going until I get to a signature. Okay, so here I need a buyer signature. So I'm going to grab the sign here and drag that over. And I also need to do a date section here. So I'm going to grab the date stamp, drag this over to where we need the date, and this will actually auto-populate at the time that John clicks here. Okay, we can keep scrolling. 
Okay, and at the bottom of that page, I see a spot that I need the agent to sign. So I'm just going to switch from John to Lisa. Use the same sign here. Oops, almost got logged off a trub there. Okay, use the same sign here. And just drag it and drop it to where I need it to be. If there's any changes you need to make on the offer, for example, we have um, a condition for five business days for an in inspection. If you'd like to change that, perhaps either to cross off the condition altogether or to shorten the amount of days, simply click markup. Okay, grab your, your strike through line. And you can draw a line right through the number of business days. Okay, and grab your text box. And you can change that to, let's make it three days, for example. Oops. Okay, make sure it's it lines up and it's visible. And you see as soon as I click off, it's been changed. So now I can just put an initial there. Okay. And let's just keep going through. Okay, I'm going to stop here just for the sake of our video and I'm going to click next. Okay, this brings us to the last step, which is to send out the email invitation. You can either send the invitation as is with a standardized uh, message or you can customize your invitation. Let's click that one just so we can edit the subject line. So I'm going to add the property address again, create offer, and write a little message. Here is the offer. Please call me when you get this email. Okay, and you can copy the exact same thing into the email boxes of all your participants for this document. Click save, send the invitation, and then you'll get this pop-up saying your authentic signed invitations were successfully sent.